Hey, I'm Bob. Thanks for joining me. There's some things going on at Hedra since the last time we talked about it. Hedra is the platform where you can make a lip sync video by either uploading an image or by using their image generation feature built into the platform and generate your image right there. And then you either upload audio, record the audio live on their platform, or use text-to-speech, type in your script, pick a voice, and it'll generate the audio, and then it mashes it all together and makes a lip synced video. Hedra has a couple of new things going on. One is their stylized feature that lets you upload an image and change the style of that image. And they now also offer paid plans that allow you to create longer videos. I know that was a real stumbling point for a lot of folks that the lip sync videos, you could only create up to 30 seconds. So they've added some paid plans that allow you to create videos longer than that. The free plan's still available. You can still create up to a 30 second lip sync video. And I think you can do five of them a day. We'll look at that here in a little bit. Let's talk about the stylized feature first. They have a bunch of different preset styles. So you upload your image and you can pick from one of these preset styles, or you can go into Hedra's full editor and describe whatever style you want for your uploaded image. Of course, I've been tinkering around with these tools. So let me show you what I created. So I started by uploading the image that you see on the lower left-hand side of your screen. I used the preset that's called Man, and this is what it gave me. I don't really see much of a resemblance there. I tried the Sculpture preset. I'm not sure what part of that is supposed to resemble me other than a head made of stone, maybe. So then I tried Caricature, and I lost a whole lot of hair out of that deal. I ended up with a five head and Dumbo ears. So I thought maybe the image I was uploading to use is like the reference image. Maybe that wasn't the way to go. So I tried something different and I used the 2D flat preset. It was like looking in a mirror, hands down, that's me. Except I would never wear a gaudy dangling red earring like that. Seriously, this one had me very confused. I was like, how, how, how did we end up here from this image that I provided? And it was around this point that I started figuring out that it wasn't so much the reference image that I uploaded, it's the prompt that it uses that you don't see when you use the preset. You don't see the prompt and you can't adjust the AI strength when you use one of the presets. But I'll show you how to get to that in a minute. What I found though is that with this prompt for the 2D flat, what it was using is it was describing it as a female dancer, blah, blah, blah. Clearly it was generating an image of a, a woman based on the prompt. I tried the caricature again, I just don't see it. Then I was pleased to see by using the Renaissance preset, they found a friend for me. I do see just a little bit of resemblance. I mean, it's definitely not my doppelganger. And after this round of trying the style presets with a different uploaded image, that's when I decided to take advantage of the link that says, try our full editor for more. What I figured out there is if you're on that first stylized page where you upload your photo, and you pick one of the preset styles. If you've got something loaded in there, when you click the try our full editor for more button, then it reveals the prompt and the strength that it was using to get to that output image. And that's how I was able to see why it was going all haywire. So then I made a couple of tweaks inside the full editor. I used the same reference image, the same uploaded image, but instead of the fancy prompt that they had in there, I typed in, 3D Pixar style, and this is what it gave me here on the right. And I think that looks a lot more like me than anything I've seen so far. Now, something else that I did here, this was after a couple of tries, I ended up pulling that AI strength down to well, probably 10 or 15%. By default, when I go in, it seems to reset itself to right in the middle of the slider. I found the best results taking it really low. I also tried the prompt of cyberpunk photograph, bright colors, dark background, and I got this. While I don't know that this would pass as an identical twin, I think it's a lot more similar than some of those earlier images that I was getting using the presets. I also tried switching up the reference image. I thought maybe a smile might help it a little better. And I fiddled with the prompt a little bit. And instead of using Pixar, I just said 3D style cartoon character. And I went ahead and went through their workflow to get a lip sync video out of this, a really short one. Somehow I managed to turn myself into a cartoon. So there's that. I wasn't having a whole lot of luck with that reference image. So I went in search of another one and I found this, that every time I look at it, I just think it looks like a mug shot. Maybe it's the orange, but that gave me the bright idea of why not try and stylize it as a mug shot. So for the prompt on this one, I said, photograph vintage mug shot. And I think it did a pretty good job with that one. That probably is the image that looks the most like me out of anything I've done here. 
Again, I found keeping that AI strength slider down in the like 10 to 15% range, and that's just eyeballing it. There weren't any numbers on that slider, but it was pretty close to the left. But this got my creativity going, so I hopped on over to Suno and generated a song to go along with this image to try the lip sync out. And here's how that goes. Back in the scramble once more, steel bars and a concrete floor. I can hear that cold cell door as me breath from a life hardcore. Shadows dance on the wall at night. God's footsteps heavy and tight. Caught again in the neon light. Freedom's nowhere in sight. Caught again, yeah, I'm caught again. In the same old mess, the same old sin. Now, I'm not sure that my lip sync video with this image turned out even as good as the one that I created in the original video, that one with Abe Lincoln singing, but I'll cut it some slack in that this is supposed to be an old vintage photo and maybe that style just didn't work so well uh, with all it has to do. But there was a little bit of, you know, warping and morphing here and there. It did feel like this one was blinking less than my Abe Lincoln lip sync. So maybe they're getting that figured out. Using Stylize in Hedra is pretty straightforward. Once you log in, just look for that Stylize button there in the upper left, upload an image, scroll through this little wheel here and pick whatever preset you wanna use. If you're happy with that result, you can just click the download button, take your stylized image and you're good to go. Or you can come over and click generate video to do the lip sync thing with this newly stylized image. I think we could do better with that image. So let's come up to the try full editor for more. And here's where we find this slider that I've been telling you about for AI strength. And you notice it's at least halfway up, if not more. And I just found that to be too much strength in order to get a really good likeness to whatever photo I was uploading. And you can also see the prompt that it used right there on the left. And there's some other settings under there, randomizing the seed, generating a random prompt and so on. But one thing I will do here, the default is for this animation 3D style to put them in a car and I'm going to change it from car to bar and it's close but I think we can do better if we just grab this AI strength slider and move it down a whole lot. We'll hit stylize again. I think it's looking more like our photo but we sort of lost most of the 3D-ishness out of it so let's just pop this back up a little more and I think that's probably the best balance we can get. Once you're happy with it here in the stylize editor you click apply changes that brings you back to this screen where you can create your lip sync video by adding your audio, whether you want to use text to speech, type in your script and pick a voice. You can upload audio that you already have, or you can just record whatever you want this character to say right there within Hedra. If you just wanted this image and you don't want to do the lip sync thing, you just download it right there without doing anything else. But if you've uploaded or generated some audio and you want to go ahead and create a lip sync, you just click this button over here that says generate video. It takes about a minute and then your video will be ready to go. You can still generate for free and it looks to me like you can still do for free what you could always do for free. I could be wrong, but it's five videos per day and a max video length of up to 30 seconds. Now, if you want that longer generation length, the basic plan is 10 bucks a month. That gets you 20 minutes of video per month and videos up to a minute long. So if you do the whole minute long, that'd be 20 videos. If you're doing 45 second videos, well, you do the math. And then professional at $50 a month gives you 110 minutes of video a month. And each video can be up to four minutes in length. So for the folks that were really looking for something beyond that 30 seconds, if you need to create entire songs, this allowing up to four minutes per video, that should accommodate most of your songs. Now at 50 bucks a month, that's not cheap, at least not to me, but at least the option exists. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this update and found something useful or entertaining here either way. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.